Welcome back to PSC Bytes. Uh, this is episode number 40, and I'm going to talk with you about how you can leverage the Microsoft Teams uh, outgoing webbooks uh, to create uh, quite useful and interesting uh, uh, solutions. In fact, uh, you can uh, create and register in Microsoft Teams uh, external outgoing webbooks, uh, which can be used to send messages from Microsoft Teams to an external service or an external application. Those messages will be based on the uh, webbook uh, communication style, so you will send a JSON message to an external endpoint, which would be a REST endpoint, uh, and you can even reply back to Microsoft Teams, uh, uh, providing a JSON message built using the uh, Office 365 cards uh, uh, syntax. You can uh, uh, use an Azure function as a good candidate to get uh, a request from Microsoft Teams and to reply back to Microsoft Teams. Uh, and it can be really useful to create uh, really smart and simple scenarios in which you want to execute commands or actions without the need to build uh, a whole uh, uh, Microsoft bot using the Microsoft bot framework, but you simply want to support uh, a really simple capability like executing a command uh, or providing an answer to a specific uh, request uh, without the need to imply any artificial intelligence or something like that. Uh, whenever you do such kind of communication between Microsoft Teams uh, and an external outgoing webbook, uh, you should mind the security and luckily Microsoft Teams will provide a security header in every request we'll send to your uh, webbook uh, in order to make it possible for you to validate the request and be sure that you are not getting a message uh, from a team or from another application which is not allowed uh, to communicate uh, with your external outgoing webbook. So let me move to the demo environment and let me show how you can easily create uh, such kind of outgoing webbooks. So here we are in Microsoft Teams uh, and I'm in a channel in which I can use an outgoing uh, webbook uh, to provide a message uh, to a custom measure function uh, that I have, uh, which will reply back to me with another message. So let me do that. Uh, let me say hi and let me use the at mention syntax. Uh, I will target the sample outgoing webbook, which is the uh, webbook I want to target uh, and I can simply say how are you or whatever else uh, it's just for the sake of making an example and as soon as I will send a message to the channel targeting with the at mention the target webbook uh, outgoing webbook as you can see I get back a reply which will state hi my name uh, can you see me and of course I can how can we configure and how can we implement such kind of uh, uh, extension well, first of all, in the team, uh, we can go to the manage team uh, section and in the apps uh, uh, section, we can create an outgoing webbook. When we do that, we provide a name, a callback URL and a description. And optionally, we can provide a custom logo for the uh, outgoing webbook. When we do that, uh, we get back uh, from Microsoft Teams uh, a, a unique uh, key that we can use for security reason uh, when we get messages in the uh, target webbook. I will explain you how to do that later on. And once we have done that, and for example, here I have my sample webbook, uh, which is already configured targeting a major function that I already have. In the Azure function, which is right here, we have uh, an HTTP activated uh, uh, Azure function built using C Sharp and .NET, uh, and I get an HTTP request object uh, as the input for my uh, function. Of course, I can get the request body, and I can read it as a string and deserialize it as a JSON object because inside the request, I will get uh, a JSON object uh, accordingly to the Microsoft Bot framework uh, uh, schema. And as you can see, this is a sample message uh, which will tell me that this is a, an object of type message with a specific timestamp, uh, with a specific uh, from, so a sender, which is myself, uh, with a reference to the conversation in the channel and all the other stuff which could be useful to uh, understand uh, the context and to create a proper reply for this kind of message. Moreover, as I said, uh, you need to validate uh, the request. So you will always get a request uh, authorization header in the request you get in your Azure function. And inside of that, you will get an HMAC uh, header. You can use this one in order to calculate uh, the hash uh, of the uh, body of the message that you get uh, and you can use the security token you get when you register the outgoing webbook uh, to generate the HMAC. And by comparing the generated HMAC with the one you get 
in the authorization header you can see if the request uh, is coming uh, from a uh, trustable uh, um, channel or not moreover you can even configure multiple uh, uh, channels targeting the same uh, uh, multiple teams targeting the same uh, Azure function and you can keep a collection of security tokens uh, to disambiguate uh, from which team uh, uh, the messages are coming. Whenever you want to provide a reply to Microsoft Teams, uh, you will simply need to provide back uh, a JSON object built using the CARTS uh, uh, schema. And for example, here I simply provide back a very, very simple uh, message card uh, with a text message which will include uh, the name of the sender of the message, uh, uh, which I can read uh, from the JSON request that I get uh, as an input. That's pretty easy. You can do that uh, in order to provide additional functionalities for your users in uh, Microsoft Teams channels. Uh, and whenever you simply need to react uh, to a simple request and you don't need a real bot framework, this could be quite uh, easy and useful. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it useful and I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.